Hello everyone, this is Boricua Banks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, we were looking around Maya's home, the big old manor, and we met her aunt, who is uh, <laughs> not exactly friendly towards Phoenix. And uh, yeah, and the, we bumped into our old good friend, Lot of Heart. Yeah. <laughs> and so the channeling is going to begin, basically. So let's continue on. I was going to say more, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just go um, to the meditation room. All right. And, you know, I was actually, uh, re when I was editing and looking back at my other episodes, I was like, you know. I think my voice for this doctor sounds a little too similar to my gumshoe voice. <laughs> that was not my intention, but it happened, so I'll just stick with it for now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya and honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. Honored guest. Oh, um, the doctor. Because we are definitely not being allowed and sad, she said. Unfortunately. Oh, I know I just said I do. I kind of. I wish I could make you sound different. <laughs> uh, I'm too green. <laughs> I'm still not good enough. Okay. <clears throat> With this, I can finally swat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Why are you dragging me into this? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Just nod and agree. <laughs> That's all you can do. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep. Right here! That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind. So please, take care of it well. You know that she said that for a reason, right? <laughs> That's gonna be important. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. Let's get started. Finally. Let's go. All right, Psycho. <laughs> and they're locked in there. Oh, boy. Good luck, Maya. Now, let us wait patiently out here for them. Please, have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Jaw-droppingly large? <laughs> okay. Hold on now, Granny! Oh, I forgot you were there, Lada. Granny? Young woman, you are going to regret saying that. <laughs> How come we ain't allowed in that room? Oh dear, madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? Dang, that savage yo, she is being so sarcastic. <laughs> Is she covering a smirk right now? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Uh, what are you? This is Korain Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Dang. Get the F out, basically. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. She's a strong woman to be able to, uh, <laughs> to deal with Lada. Wow. She shut Lada up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. And I will continue sipping from this bottomless teacup. Alright, lady. Will? 
Hey now, what was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Oh, snap. That's not good. You knew something was gonna go wrong. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's an Ace Attorney game. Of course something was gonna go wrong. Oh, Maya, my, my baby, no. Hey, th that's a gunshot. Excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I'd bet my afro on it. M Maya. Maya's in there. Why would I ask Morgan what to do? Screw Morgan. Go in there. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're going to have to break down the door. Oh. Wait, what happened? My screen... That was weird. It, like, disappeared? Okay. <laughs> weird. We're going to have to break the door. Is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter. That is... Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to the Wrighton Co. Law offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Heck yeah, you go, son. Dang. Nice job, Fe Oh, crap. Oh, no. I mean... <sighs> Dang. I I'm glad it's not Maya. D Dr. Gray! What? I... I was murdered. Whoa, Maya. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. Wh what? What the? Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. Hey, it serves as evidence later. Kind of insensitive, but still. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she? Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry before there are more victims here. Uh, shouldn't you guys work together in case she's dangerous? Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. Oh, okay. What the hell? <laughs> That's not good. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. ANOTHER PHONE BOOTH! Ah, <sighs> alright. Well, guess it comes in handy. And... They're on their way. That's... Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. That's good. Lordy, I saw a genuine, mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Oh, alright, so let's talk. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? No, definitely not. Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know that when Maya is channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Oh, this is really bad. Let's talk about the doctor, who I at least don't have to do his voice anymore. <laughs> Looking for a silver lining. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. <laughs> I believe that, and unfortunately, there's a lot of doctors like that in the world. It's like, why? 
Don't you guys know that yes, you have to be smart, but you should also be really good with people, considering you have all these patients and stuff. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Hmm. Alright, do we? What do we have? Oh, okay. That's not much. Wanna show her your badge? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. Actually, you know what happens when I do show the badge? I'm just curious. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, they'll be here soon, right? The police, I mean. Oh, you're gonna ignore my badge? Okay. I reckon you should be getting back to the crime scene now. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Now's not the time. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. See what we can find out. Oh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. Ugh. What the? Oh, oh. Great, we didn't find anything else out. Now <laughs> I went from doing the doctor to doing gumshoe. They're gonna sound so similar. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again. What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, alright? Why is he grinning at me? He's happy to see you! <laughs> Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Oh, she said Jimshoe? <laughs> oh no. You. Oh, poor Gumshoe. Detective Jimshoe. Um, my name isn't Jimshoe. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Dang. Well, let's go back out and talk to Lana before we go elsewhere. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right near her. Lana? God darn it, don't let me be next! Eeh! Don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, let's talk. Um, any ideas? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you? This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some kind of some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. <sighs> she just bounces everywhere, huh? Going after photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore? What's up? Oh, yeah! W what is it? <laughs> Jeez. I took some hot pictures earlier. Yes, you did. You took, like, two, I think? I heard that click, click. Um, sorry. Really, dog? Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, let's see. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ugh, she did. Two, even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. L Lotta. 
sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. ha ha ha! Okay. You keep laughing like a maniac. I thought she was scared a second ago. I don't know who's scarier, Lada or the spirits. Definitely Lada. Then why does it feel like we've been through this before? Mm-hmm. Deja vu, yo. <laughs> Alright, let's go back inside. I don't think we can get in there right now. Or maybe we can? Huh. Okay. The police are busily running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Aw, thank you, Gummy. Let's talk. Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. Well, technically he is. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. Ugh, alright, let's talk about the cause of death. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. Ooh, dang. But... But? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. What? That's overkill. A knife? After being stabbed, the final blow was a shot from a gun. That's weird. Let's examine. Only thing different right now is this. Hey, pal! No touching without my permission! I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect now, can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm gonna have to come back later. Aw, oh, man. Well... Alright then, we'll, we'll just come back, I guess. I don't think I have anything to present, right? Ugh. Let's just go. Anything else before I end the episode? What's over here? Nothing. Side room? Okay, something new. That person's still asleep? Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Oh boy, I forgot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like, how can I help you? Ugh! I, um, uh, this is, uh, that is, I, uh, uh... Um, like, so that, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Ten start what? You know, like the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh! No, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Please stop moving like that, you're really distracting. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but a murder has taken place. Um, so, like... A murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. How could you not know what a freaking murder is? <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like... Like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Innie Miney. 
Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP, and psychic powers. That sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Oh, doing her voice is gonna be so fun. <laughs> Alright, you know, I think I need a break. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Things are he heating up. And in the next episode, we will deal with this lady. Alright, so, until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye!